What's up guys, Luke here from LukeDemarco.com. Today I want to show you guys how to install Snow Leopard on an external hard drive so you can take it with you wherever you go. Now you may be asking why would you want to take Snow Leopard with you or any Mac OS X with you for that matter. Well for instance, say if you have a video editing project uh, for a computer class at school and the files are all on your iMac at home. Now it's kind of a pain in the ass to bring your iMac all the way to school. So, if you have all your files uh, installed on a Snow Leopard uh, drive on the external hard drive, you can easily dual boot into Snow Leopard at school, have iMovie 09, Final Cut Pro, whatever you want, you could have right on your hard drive, and you can bring the operating system back and forth. So basically, it's like a little laptop, but, uh, and it's quick, it's easy to do. So, let's get into it today. The first thing you're going to need is a Mac. Uh, right here I have my MacBook Pro late 2008 unibody. The second thing you're going to need is a copy of Mac OS X Snow Leopard. I have it here. This is just the single pack. Um, you don't need the family pack or anything like that or the big pack. All you need is this, which is fine. The next thing you're going to need and uh, one of the most important things is obviously an external hard drive. Right here I just have a no-name Lacey hard drive. You can use a Western Digital hard drive, anything you want just as long as it's uh, completely empty because Snow Leopard requires the drive to be completely empty. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab your Mac OS X Snow Leopard disk and, and insert it into your super drive on your Mac. So let's just pop it in here and wait for it to load. Alright guys, now our Mac OS X DVD has loaded up. Now before you do anything else, at this point in time you want to make sure that your hard drive is plugged in. So for instance, my Lacey hard drive here, the green light is flashing, it's plugged in via USB to my MacBook Pro, and uh, over there up in the top right hand corner you can see that it is recognized, it's the orange icon. So once the DVD is loaded and you've got your hard drive in, all you have to do is click install Mac OS X. That'll fire up the Mac OS X installer and you can just click continue. You can agree to the terms of service, uh, most likely you will agree. And here's, here's, what, here's the most important part, guys. I'm just going to zoom in on a, a little bit here. It says install Mac OS X, and it gives me two hard drives. It gives me my uh, Hitachi hard drive, which is this one right here. It's the internal hard drive in my MacBook Pro. And then it gives me Luke's EHD, which is my external hard drive. I want to install it on my external hard drive. So I'm just going to click that. And then now it says Mac OS X will be installed on Luke's EHD, which is my external hard drive. Once Luke's EHD is in, uh, accepted, or um, selected, I should say, just click Install. And then up at the top here, you'll get a little warning that says, Are you sure you're going to want to install Mac OS X on this? And of course I do, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. And then I click Install. It's going to ask you for your password. Let me just quickly type in my password. Hit Enter. And let's see, it has come to the installing Mac OS X loading screen. And uh, as you see down at the bottom there, it gives us an estimated time of about 45 minutes, which isn't bad, but guys, this may take a little longer because it's going via USB to an external hard drive. Uh, the first time I, I installed it, it took, uh, it took about an hour, which was a little longer than when I installed it on my inter internal hard drive, but uh, that's uh, understandable. So guys, we'll uh, see you when the install has completed. Also during the install, it will do a reboot. So once the install is completed, uh, I'll turn the camera back to record. All right, so now it's saying down uh, right above the progress bar, it says the installation is complete. And now I'm getting this window that says the install has succeeded and it wants me to restart my computer. I can, it'll either automatically restart in 20 seconds or I can click restart to restart it now, which I am going to do. So now my computer will restart and boot into the external hard drive that we've just installed Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard on. Now when it boots up what you're going to want to do is when it hits the white screen, this is very important anytime you want to boot into it. As soon as it hits that white screen, hold down the option key on the Mac OS 10 keyboard. It's very important that you do this because that's how you'll be able to select which drive you're going to boot from. Here you see I've been given three different drives. I can boot from my main hard drive, which I don't want to do right now. I can boot from the external hard drive, which I just installed Snow Leopard on. Or I can boot from the Mac OS X install DVD. 
What I'm going to want to do right now is boot from the Luke's EHD, which has Snow Leopard on it. And uh, so what I've just done is I've just hold, held down the Option key, and you're going to need to do that every time you want to boot up. I'm just going to click that, and we are going to boot in to Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard. So that was very easy to install, just like the regular install of Snow Leopard, just with that one tweak of uh, choosing which destination drive you want to install it on. And then right now you hold down the option key so that it boots into the right hard drive. So here we are booting into Mac OS 10.6 on the external hard drive for the first time. We're getting that deep blue screen and my backlit keyboard just turned on. There's the Aurora desktop. There's the top bar and my dock should appear any second now. So the DVD is loaded, uh, my external hard drives are loaded, my icons are loaded, and ladies and gentlemen, my dock has loaded. So uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard has completely loaded in. Now what it's going to do is it's going to load up the setup assistant and play that uh, welcome video for you. But as you see up in the top right hand corner here, my external hard drive is the first hard drive because that's the uh, actual hard drive that I'm running the OS on. You see up in the top corner there, the uh, external hard drive, then my boot camp, or then my uh, actual in-computer Hitachi hard drive, and then the install DVD. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you install Snow Leopard on an external hard drive. All you have to do is uh, insert the DVD as we did before, this is just a little recap, select the external hard drive to install on, and then when you want to go boot into the hard drive, what you want to do is plug the hard drive into the computer via USB, turn the Mac on, and when it's at that white first, the first white screen, hold down the option key on the keyboard, and uh, it will give you a selection of drives you can boot into, and you can boot into your external hard drive. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and if, you've, if you have any other video ideas, leave them in the comments below. Talk to you guys later.